I-25 now back open after police had to shut it down. So this is a look at the scene. This is about an hour ago. It's, it's pretty dark, but you can see there is a vehicle that's pulled over with all these police officers. Denver 7 photojournalist Daryl Orr is live near 120th right now with what happened. Daryl. Yeah, actually, we're at mile marker 236, uh, quite a ways, probably about 16 miles north of E-470 uh, out here in Weld County. But about 2.45 this morning, Denver police received a report of a vehicle and two suspects inside who uh, showed a uh, firearm to other people. They notified Denver. Denver put uh, information out to all different police agencies. And up here in Thornton, they were able to spot the vehicle, got into a pursuit, then Broomfield police joined in pursuit along with State Patrol and Weld County. They were able to get the vehicle stopped here at mile marker 236 with spike strips. Now this chase did start back at 120th down in Thornton and fortunately nobody got hurt. Two suspects are in custody. The weapon is a BB gun and as you can see right here this FedEx truck front tire is completely blown out so uh, he's going to be delayed out here for a while. They're estimating about another two hours for him so we do have uh, one police officer back behind him protecting him from traffic coming northbound. Good news is I-25 is open northbound and southbound after being closed for almost 45 minutes out here this morning with this investigation.